Hi, Randy Kev. So here's the video that I kind of mentioned I would do um, a little talk about my rig and my capra. Um, just go through with some of the bits and pieces I've got on there and there seems to be this there's quite a few people want to know what I'm running and um, setup wise so I, I thought I would go through some of the bits that are on it and hopefully answer some of them questions for people I've, I do find it a bit odd that people want to know what what's uh what's on my rig and how it's set up um so here it is um so what am i running so motor and esc is the um hobby wing axe system uh for the caprets yeah seems a perfect com combination uh running that in there with a Holmes Hobby Servo. Uh, I can't remember the capacity of the, I really can't, can't remember. It's been in there from the word dot, so you'll have to forgive me on that. Uh, I'm also running uh, the Proline Big Bore Shocks, 90 mil. And I like to, to run them flat, so they're, they are, flat um let's get a picture of you you can see down so what i like to do is i like the truck sitting flat and as you can see they're right down to the bottom um but it gives me also still gives me plenty of articulation that i need um and i feel i get from this this rig still um let's tilt you back up a bit well we'll leave you there we'll leave you there so that's what i'm running tire wise i'm running the pro line flat irons and the xl uh they're 4.75 tire I've, i run them on both my rigs I, I really like these tires um they seem to do everything i want them to do i'm also running a trio front axle to give me that extra weight up front I don't know if you can see that so there it is um also with the brass third member on there and i've got brass weights as you can see just to give me that weight at the front and my i run a 25 percent overdrive in the front i don't run any underdrive uh in the back at all and i don't have dig I uh, definitely don't have four wheel steer because I'm still running plastic, axial plastic, standard axle. Uh, I have fitted uh, some longer links here. So it's gone out by about 10, 10 mil, 15 mil. Um, also run the Vader flat skid. Um, so all my trail parts, the skid, um all from uh G gareth curtis rc i got them from him which is great but what i'm running uh inside the tires is i'm running the small and sound power foams now these i feel have give my my truck a real boost in how it handles in fact it's a massive boot how it hand boosts how it handles sorry um, what I'm running is um, softs in the rear, super softs in the front. So I get a lot of traction. The tyre, you know, conf conforms to the obstacle it's going over a lot better. But I still get enough support at the rear. Like I say, I'm not running dig and I'm not running four-wheel steer. So, you know, my line choices have to be a bit different maybe than somebody else's. Um, but this is where the side support from the power foams comes into its own. It is immense how much support you get on the side from these. Um, we did a lot of development with them. And um, yeah, we got to this point and I feel, you know, I also use them in my Defender because they just work really, really well. Um, uh, Punk's 3D Custom Wheels 
the carbon ones. They're a 2.2 wheel and I've stretched over a 1.9 tyre, um, which also helps, I feel, in the side hilling and the tyre being supported better. That's how high feel I get from it. Um, other than that, basically, that's my rig. Um, you know, like I say, if you want trio parts, which I definitely feel are a good upgrade, um, like you can get them from Gareth Curtis RC, he supplies them quite, there's lots of stuff. So talk to him if you want things. If you want to know more about the power foams, you contact Brian at Small and Sound. If I am in an event somewhere or just crawling around and you want to chat about them, then then just, just ask me. Uh, you know, I don't mind talking about them at all. Uh, if I can't give you any technical information, I don't have that information in my vocabulary at the time, then uh, what I'll do well is I'll find that information out and then I will let you know what that information is. Um, or it will be Brian will contact you directly and let you know about it. Also, uh, if I am there and you want to you want to see how these perform for yourself, then just ask me. Just have, I'll, I'll let you have a go at the rig. You can see for yourself how, how it holds on the angles and, and where it does let go compared to where it would let go maybe with your dual stage. So, but yeah, you just got to ask. I don't mind someone having to go to the rig if they want to, they want to see how some of this stuff performs. But that said, um, that's it really, guys. Um, don't know what else to say. It's a, it's a bizarre situation to be in where people want to know what you're running on your rig when you really don't think your um, rig's anything special uh, compared to some of the beautiful and fully controllable rigs I see out there. I just think this is a regular kappa. Um, and just done a few things which all of you have probably done. So I do find it a bit bizarre to try and talk about it. But what I will do, um, I will leave uh, all the information in the link of the description below, kind of telling what the bits are in case you missed anything uh, and where to get them from. And other than that, it's a case of... Um, yeah, enjoy your RC. Um, if you watch the video and you like it, uh, then please give me a like if you like it. If you don't like it, I'd prefer not to have the dislike, but if you really don't like it, then you're going to have to give me a dislike. Um, and if you're new to the channel, then um, consider subscribing and, and join me on my my journey with YouTube and my RC trucks and let's uh, share some good times together but all in all so I'm going to leave you guys in peace because I'm probably waffling now you know what I'm like by now if you watch some of my videos um, so anyway it's Landy Kev signing out you all take care and um, I'll catch you on the trails ta -da.